Hi, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com, and my annual blog on Bash.com, and welcome to our daily blog. Come on, Charlie, run up here. Come on. Charlie wants up here. Um, he saw me sit down, and he was like, yep, I went up there. Um, <laughs> anyway, it has been a really busy two days. We didn't get the compost bin set up yesterday because... There is a false grapevine that was growing in all the treetops. And any of you that have ever dealt with this vine know that it is one that will just take over and choke everything out. So Jeff started trying to cut the trees down and it is a bigger job than what either one of us thought. So anyway, um, in the process, we did not get the trees all the way down. It'll have to wait till next weekend if it's not raining. And I ended up getting my ring caught on the end of the tailgate as we were taking the compost bin down. And it, my finger's crooked today. I don't know, we noticed last night it was crooked. I don't know if it's broke, it's not really painful. It's just crooked and swollen, so we took we got my ring off and um it seemed like there were just a lot of little accidents happening last night so we called it a night um we drove over to a root beer stand in gas city b and k root beer and we i had we both had tenderloins um but i had cheese curds and he had tater tots so and root beer of course and then we came home and he made some straps. I've been needing some straps to make some masks for a while. Um, got up this morning, I made two masks out of some custom fabric that I had ordered and have been waiting almost a month on, maybe a little more than a month. Um, for a lady, I'm waiting on her to pick those up. I've had several visitors to the farm today to buy tomato plants, which is fantastic. Um, Sold some garlic scapes finally. And I'm just excited that it seems like this year the farm is going to finally take off. I've been trying for a number of years. And then, of course, after Jerry died, um, we kind of backtracked a little bit. So this year, I had thought with the coronavirus and everything going on, that this would definitely be the year that things would take off. And... So far, so good. Um, we've sold a lot of different uh, types of plants this year, and people are asking when the produce is gonna be in, people are wanting to see the animals, and so just a lot going on. People are commenting about how much cleanup is getting done and how much better it's looking here. And I agree, Jeff has worked so hard. Uh, he trimmed hedges yesterday which was a job because they were way overgrown. And he was back there trying to use his chainsaw, which is still messed up. Um, it'll only run for so long and when it shuts down, that's it. But he was back there trying to use the chainsaw to get those trees down and get that fine taken care of so we could get the compost bin set up. Like I said, it didn't happen, but you know, one thing at a time. So that's what I'm really learning is just, you know, one thing at a time and you can only do so much and I'm not going to conquer this whole two and a half acres in one day and neither is he. So, and then I went to the store. Um, we needed some, I could have made some laundry detergent, but I decided to buy some. We needed some dish soap. Um, again, something I could have made, but sometimes it's nice to just be able to buy it. And with the sales from stuff here, I felt like I could. So, and I picked up some stuff to make a custom stir fry for supper. It's just gonna be the beef meat and some of the baby corns and some sugar snap peas. So, I'm waiting on Jeff to get home from Domino's. Um, He's been sending me pictures today. There seems to be a lot of fire trucks and ambulances out. And I had noticed the same thing when I was out on the bypass. So I don't know what's going on today. Um, just seems like an awful lot happening. 
But anyway, um, I've got some laundry in that I need to get done. And then hopefully he'll be home so we can have supper and he can watch some TV and head off to bed. So thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Please subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow with another daily vlog.